1951 International. Uh, we call this one the old bag. It's an air ride truck. Uh, let's take a closer look. All the lights, the turn signals, uh, everything works. It does not have windshield wipers. We put uh, Rain X on the glass. It does have all new glass. This is all brand new glass. This is a new seal here. Um, the windshield alone was 400. So, um, time we got a new seal and put it in, it's $500 worth of glass just in the front. And the sides have new glass too. Uh, new mirror here on the side. New uh, wheels. The tires are about 80%. <clears throat> gas cap comes down there really solid truck kansas truck you can see the bottom of the doors really solid no rust on this truck it has been uh, uh you know the metal's been broken a place or two and we've uh, welded it back together but a really solid truck we just screwed the license plate on the front rat rod style it's a old plate. We'll take a look under the hood in just a second. As you can see, it's got one little place right there in the front of that fender. Just that's the only place. The rest of it's really solid. The rest of it's where we've welded on it. We'll open the door here. Let you take a look at the bottom of the doors. Super solid. We put new panels in here does have a nice working stereo system. Um, it's a JVC stereo head unit. It's we can on a vacuum it here and clean it on up, but we got the, it's got carpet in it. It's got the Dakota seats in it. There's the air ride control. This folds up. You can ride three people in here. Um, new headliner from Classic Industries. Um, that's your Dakota gauges over there. Uh, it does have air conditioning on it. The heat uh, blows uh, good and hot. Um, it just runs out and drives like a, an every, everyday normal truck. The windows go up and down good. Uh, the doors shut good. There's no alignment issues there. We decided to leave the old style tail lights. We did take and... Uh, Take all the inside, the guts out of it, and put new new wiring harness in there, and it's got uh, new wiring going to the tail lights. Back here, we did a little something we've done in the past, and it got uh, a lot of a lot of y'all liked it, so we did it. We did it again on this one. You have dry storage back here. Let's see if you can see that or not. If you want to go on a trip, you want to put your stuff in there. You got dry storage back there underneath the bed. The reason the bed is up so high because all the air ride system is under there. <clears throat> but you have room to put anything in the bed if you want to. There's the factory Dodge Dakota gas neck where it, it would be on the Dodge Dakota. We've took the old neck and made it just like, a, just like the old truck. Put a few uh, put a few miles on this truck. It runs and drives good. Same thing here, door panel. Like I said, new headliner. We'll start it up. Let you hear it run. All the gauges work. Good oil pressure. Charges good. Runs cool. Turn signals work. Uh, it even cancels the turn signals when you turn a, a curve. It does have an emergency brake in it. You can see that or not. We put the factory emergency brake back in the truck. Like, look under the hood here, real quick. Two point five Jeep. It's the same thing they put in the Jeep. This is sitting on a two thousand Dodge Dakota chassis. Uh, power brakes, power steering, everything that you'd want. The fan kicks off and on just like it's supposed to. Um, this truck you could drive and have a lot of fun with, not have to worry about uh, breaking down or anything like that. 
truck's got 120,000 miles on the odometer. When we built it, you know, the hood closes great. I'll slam the truck and let you guys get a good look at that. This is the best part. There you go. Right on the ground. The black top's a little uneven, but as you can see, this truck hugs the ground all the way around. Thanks for watching my video. 1951, old bag.